Yeah, so hello everyone. Today we have a very special guest on our channel. We have Garima. So Garima, would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, yes, uh, my name is Garima. Currently, I'm doing my engineering from Ajay Kumar Garg Engineering College, Ghaziabad. And uh, I'm 2023 batch and I have an offer of TCS Digital. Yeah, so she's here to talk about how to crack TCS NQT. So TCS NQT is an exam that a lot of people want to crack every year. A lot of people appear for it. So would you like to explain the process of TCS NQT? Like what is in it? Yes, in my case, I got the form, uh, I think, uh, July mm -hmm. or August. Mm -hmm. So I applied for that and uh, I gave my exam in uh, September. Mm -hmm. And uh, you will have, exam will be same. And there is two selection process. There mm -hmm. is two profile, like for NQT, uh, that with the salary will be 3.5. Mm -hmm. And for digital, mm -hmm. salary will be 7.5. Based mm -hmm. on your performance, you will get the mail uh, that for which exam you have cleared the test. Mm -hmm. Even if you have not cleared the test, then you will not get the mail. And uh, then after that, you will get a, a timeline that on this day, you will get an interview call or interview maybe online or offline. In my case, it was like an offline interview because I go to the college and give my mm -hmm. interview. So that was the process. Uh, uh, first, uh, what happened uh, when you will appear for the uh, written test, then there is a uh, mathematics. Uh, mm -hmm. Mathematics will be from basic to advanced. So mm -hmm. you will have to practice for that. And I practice those things from textbook. This is one of mm -hmm. the best platform mm -hmm. for mathematics. And uh, I I did my coding from lead code. This mm -hmm. is one of the best coding platform. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I the uh, written round and then I appear for the interview. So what was your interview experience? What was your experience with the rounds? Like what were the problems you got, the difficulty of the problems, etc.? Yes. So in first round, like in written, first uh, uh, there were aptitude round. Mm -hmm. Aptitude in aptitude, you will get English, mathematics, mm -hmm. and reasoning. Okay. So that was from basic to advanced, and that question will also uh, like it depend like how you solve those questions, and that will be your selection process. That which profile you will get, hmm. either ninja or digital. Hmm. So you will have to uh, uh, attempt all those questions very carefully. Even there is no negative marking. So mm -hmm. don't worry if you attempt any wrong question. But uh, there is uh, like something uh, weightage of uh, correct question. Hmm. So try to attempt a correct question. Uh, if you are not sure, to, uh, then don't uh, like click on those questions. Hmm. And uh, so I attempt those questions. And uh, if uh, for advanced advanced level, you will have to read uh, very you know theoret uh, hmm. theoretically through practically and. Uh, uh, after that, there are a coding question. Mm -hmm. There are two coding question, and coding question uh, based not was too much uh, difficult mm -hmm. for me. It was not difficult. Uh, first question was based on priority queue, mm -hmm. and uh, like you will have to push the value and check the on the top value and check the conditions. If condition satisfied, then you can go with that logic. Mm -hmm. And second question was based on has map. Mm -hmm. Has map. Mm -hmm. So you will uh, have to store the value, and when it uh, it becomes equal to k, then you start to uh, remove the value from oh. starting hmm. so that was two questions from the uh, has map and uh, priority queue hmm. so i saw both of them and uh, after some days i think I, after some week mm -hmm. i got uh, the mail uh, that i have qualified the written test mm -hmm. and uh, i will have to give my interview mm -hmm. so that was the written round so if you will do uh, both questions in coding then i think uh, surely you will get the profile of digital mm -hmm. and if you have attempt one or none then maybe you have qualified the ninja mm -hmm. So that okay. is all. Okay. What about the interview process? Like, how did your interview process go? Yes. So for the interview, I I go to my college and uh, uh, in college, there are many people. So they were telling me like, uh, they're asking about cloud computing, machine learning and everything. And I was like, I really don't know even a definition <laughs> <laughs> because I'm not from that background. Uh, many uh, from many people, they were asking about many things. But mm. in my case, uh, they were open my CV and mm. they everything they ask from cv hmm. like they ask about project what project uh, you have done then we, they i think they have opened my coding profile also so mm -hmm. they were like you are c plus the programmer so i said mm -hmm. yes sir and then they start to ask me array heap uh, and many questions from related to programming mm -hmm. and i told him many approaches like what mm -hmm. can be possible approaches to solve these problem and after that he was like do you know oops so i was like yes sir then uh, he said to me Ki, uh, which topic you are more comfortable <laughs> and i was very impressed and i was like sir kuch bhi puch lijiye <laughs> then he was like <laughs> okay garima i will tell i will uh, give you the coding questions like i will give you the questions and you will have to give me the output Okay. Uh, but uh, in my case, I was I have written all the things. So uh, he gave me the total overall question. Like this is the question. This is the class. This is the inheritance. And what will be the output of this question? 
so at that time i was able to answer all those questions then after that there were another interviewer they asked me everything about software engineering how to mm-hmm. create module what is software engineering why software engineering is important mm-hmm. so at that time some of the question i really don't know the answer of those questions so i was like sorry sir i don't know i cannot recall the answer of those questions and uh, some of the um, questions i was able to answer all those questions hmm. and uh, after that uh, there were another interview so before we start with the rest of the video let me tell you about this amazing platform called cryo so cryo is a website where you can learn new skills and get your dream placement so they have placement courses they have a course on full stack development and they have a course on back end development and they have the best content that is out there so they have a course of fellowship program in software development where they teach you software development skills in either back end development or full stack development so if you are someone who's working in a company and you want to upscale yourself you want to join a better company or you want to join a fang company a higher paying company then you can take this course and they also have a free trial which is the best thing so even if you're not sure about the content of this course you can book your free trial and you can see for yourself the content that they have and you can also check their placement statistics they have general placement of around 6 to 15 lpa and some people even get a placement of 15 to 40 lpa and apart from that they also have a separate full stack web development course and a back end web development course where you'll be working on real time live projects with working professionals so it will be just like working in a company you'll gain some real life experience by working with these professionals and you'll be able to add these projects to your resume and build your portfolio so you can definitely check these courses out and if you are someone who wants a good placement who wants to join a good company then this is something that i would definitely recommend so go click the link in the description and book your free trial now interviewer they asked me another question like related to conditional based question statement hmm. like hmm. you are in the condition and you have this problem how hmm. you will solve that question, uh, problem and statement hmm. so i took myself like what will happen if i will be there yeah. so how i will solve that problem so i told him the approach of all those things and he was happy with me but i was really not satisfied with my interview because in software engineering i said sir sorry i don't know so yeah. i was thinking i don't i will be qualified for interview or not yeah and then i got the mail that i am selected uh, for uh, i am selected for tcs digital and after uh, next day i got also offer letter for tcs digital and uh, e- even uh, yesterday i got a mail for internship also so mm-hmm. if you have, if you have done your uh, you know project good and interview good so you can also get the internship from tcs side mm-hmm. so most of the my friend have not get an even uh, taken an even internship but uh, i have this offer of in mm-hmm. tcs uh, digital internship but uh, i don't think i will join or not it's only up to me that is something so what advice would you give to people who are planning to appear for tcs and qt who want to crack tcs they lena appearing for nqt what advice would you give like how to prepare uh like uh, i want to say don't fear what will happen like you have the day today like you mm-hmm. have today so think what you can do mm-hmm. uh, whatever time you have given so define your target whatever you want to do what i did in my time like when i decide uh, that i am going to prepare for that exam or yeah, this exam then i started uh, to uh, 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 i started to obtain mock test from test book mm-hmm. and i gave many uh, uh, live test so i was thinking that what will be my score and based on that i was considering my performance mm-hmm. in even in my case when i was giving the tcs digital uh, written round so i attempted all the reasoning and uh, suddenly internet connection got failed mm-hmm. and when it reconnected then it was like you will have to attempt from very first question mm-hmm. and i was really don't know what will be the answer of all the question then i again reattempt all the question uh, fastly and uh, i uh, again then i move to next section so that is something if you have read the things then you will have the knowledge and you will crack that mm-hmm. and uh, like don't think what will happen uh, i will qualify this result or not agar nahi hota hai to fir agle baar to hona hi hai matlab kabhi na kabhi to hoga mm-hmm. in my case um, whenever i fe- i feel like uh, i cannot do this uh, so i called my brother and he was like uh, he is one of the most inspirational person in my mm-hmm. life so bhaiya always said to me uh, one line like hey krishna aaj ka tujhme hi tujhme hi aaj ka arjun hai mm-hmm. jo tu chahe wo payega wo satyuk fir se aayega mat haar tu himmat Hmm. and these line really motivates me i don't know uh, what happened uh, after listening these line and i was like bhaiya kar dungi <laughs> and uh, i cracked it 
and he was really happy after declaring the result i, I called my brother firstly uh, bhaiya uh, have you checked my mail and he was like are ha <laughs> and that was the happiness which i have seen on that uh, on that person face and so that is something uh, like just read all the things mm-hmm. don't think what will happen i will qualify the result or not whatever time you have given just utilize it and mm-hmm. whenever you stop taking tension na like uh, i will qualify or not qualify then uh, definitely you will improve hmm. you never know what will happen which day uh, history will change no one knows <laughs> yeah that's so very nice to hear your... like that's very nice to hear like something motivational and apart from that what resources did you use so if someone asks you like for aptitude round for coding round like because you solved both the coding questions and you would prepare you would have yeah, done yeah. good in the written test right so what resources did you use in the like for to prepare like for the for aptitude like for resources for the aptitude yeah for the aptitude i use uh, i uh, gave many mock tests or mm-hmm. textbook mm-hmm. Uh, many mock tests are available in free even mm-hmm. for tcs infosys mm-hmm. you need to search only placement preparation mm-hmm. so you will get the test and uh, if you want to attempt more tests so you will have to purchase the plan mm-hmm. uh, so for aptitude i use that and for the coding i uh, read uh, i watch many video from stiver and mm-hmm. pep coding <laughs> uh, even i am c++ programmer but yeah. most of the video i have seen from pep coding that is in uh, java but i uh, i understand the concept in java and uh, write down the code in c++ hmm. and uh, i practice all those questions in lead code so that was one of the resources even i never leave lead code hmm. so i did lead code daily yeah. because i wanted to do something like I, i will have to anyhow i was thinking that i will have to uh, 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 attempt both the question i i will have to run that program so mm-hmm. that's why i did lead code for that and for the practice i use only textbook textbook mm-hmm. is a one of the app like anyone can download that and practice the question from there mm-hmm. so that is something which i used and for the uh, for the inter, uh, uh, like interview i read everything from the google search mm-hmm. like interview bit i took help of interview bit and i did uh, instruction from there and i made the notes for all these things like oops and dbms i have the notes i open my notes and read mm-hmm. all the things and then i appear for the interview mm-hmm. yes Okay. So that was all resources which I follow. Okay, that's nice. Okay, so I think that covers pretty much everything about the TCS and QT process. So thank you, Garima, for coming on my channel and sharing your journey with me and my subscribers. So thank you. Ah, uh, thank you to you also for inviting me. And uh, like, uh, I I would like to say all those people who are in uh, preparing for this exam, like don't mm-hmm. fear. What uh, whatever day you have given, just prepare. Ah, uh, just to uh, utilize the, uh, that day only, and you will get the result definitely. As nahi to kal hona to zaroor hai. अभी नहीं तो कभी सही होगा जरूर अगर तू मेहनत कर रहे हो तो सही है ओके दैट्स गुड